And now we move on to U.S. slope style skier, silver medalist Gus Kenworthy, who's gone viral for his puppy love and his goal of rescuing a family of Sochi's stray dogs. ABC's Matt Gutman has his story. Even before Gus Kenworthy stomped his run, and as they say in slope style speak, winning the silver medal, he won American Hearts with these tweets, writing, puppy love is real to puppies. The day before, the heartthrob tweeted this picture with the hashtag Sochi Strays. The Olympic City is beset by them. They've been fed by the thousands of work crews here over the past seven years, and their population has exploded. But ahead of the games, a Russian company was hired to cull them. To international outrage, Ken were these two. He tells ABC News he's going to adopt. Did you bring any of those puppies with you today? <laughs> no, the puppies are at the media center up in the village. And you really hope to uh, adopt them and bring them home? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I'll necessarily like, keep all of them for myself, but I'm definitely trying to, to bring them all back to the States. He said he hopes to take a mother and four puppies back to the U.S. just a drop in the bucket. We heard about the only private shelter here and drove there last week, up this winding mountain road, recently funded by Russian billionaire Oleg Deripaska. <laughs> There, we found a puppy haven. It's a problem for any country, right. stray dogs. Once these dogs get here, they can find a pretty warm home, but getting to these mountaintop shelters is pretty tricky. Nadia Maibaroda is helping people like Kenworthy with the papers and shots, but Kenworthy might also need help getting a bodyguard. Have you gotten a lot of responses about your tweets? Uh, yeah, a lot of girls like Olympians and puppies, which has been overwhelming, but um... <laughs> a heartthrob skier with the heart of gold. So we've been trying to get back into the shelter, but you could probably see the security guys behind us. They've been taking pictures of us for the past few minutes. That shelter has gotten a lot of media over the past couple of days, but there's so many dogs there right now that apparently the conditions have deteriorated. They're not letting anybody in there right now. That's going to make it a lot harder for folks like Gus Kenworthy and other Americans to adopt dogs here.